Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. With the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on I don't know what look yet because obviously I don't have anything on my face right now. But I was actually inspired to do a makeup look using these two Stila Magnificent Metals uh, liquid eyeshadows. So this one is the Glitter and Glow shadow in the shade Smoky Storm. And this one is the Shimmer and Glow liquid eyeshadow in the shade Vivid Garnet. So as you can see, they're both incredibly, incredibly pretty eyeshadows and I really wanted to use them in an eyeshadow look today. But obviously these ones aren't actual powder eyeshadows themselves. So I'm going to be using these to style up the eyeshadow look. And for the actual eyeshadows, I wanted to use the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Palette in the collection Bling Boss. And that's this one here. I might just actually be using some more purpley burgundy shades here. Like these are the matte ones. Use them in my transition. And then just jazz up the look with these two seal eyeshadows today. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Before I get started, if you guys at any point throughout the video think, hmm, I like this look, or I like this chick, or I like her content, then you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then please do so and ring the notification bell if you want to see all my future uploads because I do upload three times a week. It's a hell of a lot of work, guys, but I'm doing it for you because I enjoy it and I enjoy makeup and I want to share this part of my life with you all. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy. I really only update regularly on my Instagram and my Twitter when I upload a new video. So if you wanted to go follow me on any at all, do it on Instagram because I upload on that one day. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. And I'm first gonna get my hair out of my face because I just washed it. And there's no better feeling besides removing your bra at the end of the day and fresh crisp bed sheets than freshly washed hair. <laughs> so um, yeah, I ain't trying to get any makeup in there. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get started on this look. Da, da, da. <laughs> okay, that's maybe a little bit too close. I'm going to prime my eyelids with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer Pomade. And I'm going to set it down with some loose translucent powder. Now taking the Jaclyn Hill Blue Boss Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to be taking the shade here called Hush Hush, and I'm going to load up my brush, and then just blend that out into my transition. Using a smaller tip to blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade Sparks and apply this very, very tightly into my crease. So basically what I'm doing is laying down the color here and then sort of bringing it up into my crease and then sort of blending it out here it's sort of stopping here not really going all the way into the inner corner of my eye just sort of blending that shade there applying most of it on the outer corner and then softly bringing it up to the center of my eye here and then once most of the product leaves the brush i'm going to sort of slowly blend it up in the corners here and start to create the shape that i want on the outer corner of my eye I kind of want to give myself a little bit more dimension, like depth and sort of layers of color. So I'm going to take this shade Rockstar and do the absolute same with that that I did with the burgundy shade here. I find that when you layer up different colors, even though it might not make a huge difference in the look itself, it sort of gives the look a lot more layers and dimension, if that makes sense, I guess. blending brush again with no extra product. I'm going to start blending out these edges here. All right, now for the shimmer star of the show. I'm going to be taking this Stila shadow in the shade Vivid Garnet and just apply that all over my eyelids. I 
feel like that these particular shadows need to kind of dry and then I need to put another layer on top to be able to build up the intensity. Although it's actually already pretty opaque there, but I want to let this dry and see how I go with doing another layer. It might come out a little bit chunky and like creasy, but um, I want to I wanna just let it dry and see what happens if I put another layer on top. So um, I'll go do that then. A few moments later. Okay, now I'm back. The first layer has dried. I'm gonna go in with the second layer and see how it goes on top. I have a feeling this could potentially feel really, really thick on the eyelid, but I'm just gonna roll with it and see what happens. I might just take my finger and sort of tap that in. See my eyelid here? How when I open my eyes, it sort of looks like aluminium foil. <laughs> it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it just looks uncomfortable. But it doesn't feel that bad actually. I'm gonna take some of this pretty purpley shimmery shade from the palette called Berry Treasure. I'm just gonna take some of that and apply that on the outer corner of my eyes. And then taking a fluffy blending brush with no extra product, just going to blend out those edges. It's turning out a lot more dark than I wanted it to be. <laughs> now I'm going to take this Stila Glitter Shadow in the shade Smoky Storm, and I'm going to apply that on the absolute inner corners of my eyes and sort of like butterfly effect it out to the rest of my eyelid. Okay, that's pretty intense. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna take some of this shimmery pink shade called Bling Bling and just apply that to the center of my eyelid. What do you reckon, guys? I don't know about this. But then, it usually all comes together by the time I put my foundation base on and mascara. Maybe I might put some falsies on, maybe? I kind of feel like this look calls for it. And I do have some falsies that I bought from the Priceline Half Price sale. So I want to give those a test run. So I'm just going to let this glitter dry on my eyelids and then I'll go in with my foundation base. Sounds like a plan. Okay guys, time to change this skin from flawful to flawless. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer first and foremost because heaven knows I need it. Although after, if you guys haven't seen my glycerin skincare video, then definitely go check that one out. But after having used the glycerin for a while now, the, tex the actual texture in my skin has gone down. I've had a few breakouts on my skin because of some general stress that I've been going through. But the actual overall condition of my skin has improved a lot which I'm so happy about because bad skin, nothing worse. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with my Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer, but first I gotta clean up all this fallout under the eyes. For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I actually really wanna try and start using different foundations, you know? Because I'm kind of stuck in a rut with this one. For contour slash bronzer, I'm going to be using my Models Prefer Contour Stick. For concealer, cha -na -na -na, you guessed it, Maybelline Age Rewind. I know I use this concealer all the time, but it's just that good. 
Also, I've been too poor to buy anything new. <laughs> I'm going to set all of that down with some RSCMA translucent no color powder. For a bit of light bronzer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline City Bronzer. For a bit of blush, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place blush in the shade Serafina. And to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. Right, now to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to take some black eyeliner into my waterline. And using a small tip to precision blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade Sparks and blend that out under my lower lash line. Taking a bit of a larger fluffier blending brush, I'm just going to use that to blend out the lower lash line. Okay, I may have blended that out just a little bit too low and I look like I've been punched in the eyes. So I'm just going to try and fix that not look so vampy. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of feeling that this shade Vivid Garnet was somewhat a little bit lost, so I'm just going to take some of that, but this time on my finger, and just pat some of that on the outer corner of my eye. Right, so I think <laughs> these eyes are as good as they're going to get. I might intensify the glitter on the inner corner a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with some eyeliner, mascara, and possibly some falsies, and I'll be right back. Okay. Took me long enough, but I managed to wrangle some falsies onto my eyes. I actually really like these ones. These ones are falsies from the brand Kiss in the style Ritzy Natural Black, and I actually kind of really like them. I bought them during the 50% off cosmetics Priceline sale and actually really really like them. So now I'm gonna finish off the lips. I'm thinking possibly just a nice pale pink lip and I think I have the perfect one in mind. I'm just gonna go grab it. Okay, so for lips, first I'm gonna line it with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade in the shade Dukes and then I'm gonna fill in my lips with the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Charmed. wanting a little bit more contour in my lips, I'm gonna go in with that lippy pencil again and just sort of give my lips a little bit more contour. <laughs> Now I know I don't normally do gloss, but it's because of that reason that I'm going to be trying something different today. I'll just be popping on a little bit of this ColourPop Glossy Lip in the shade Kumquat right in the center of my lips. Guys, we got there eventually. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Eye. Let me know if you want to see more makeup tutorials using the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadows because I have the whole entire Stila collection vault. Here it is, because I have the whole entire actual collection vault and I would be thrilled if you guys wanted to see more videos incorporating these liquid eyeshadows into my makeup looks. I just don't want to overuse them because it's like the same thing over and over and over but that doesn't really stop me from using the same foundation and contour and blush does it. But anyway, no I mean like feature eyeshadow looks. So yeah, let me know you guys. Again, as usual, if you have any requests, feel free to let me know. If you have any constructive criticism, again, please feel free to let me know. Also, I just wanted to mention really quickly that we have had a whole lot of new people join us here on the Key Guy family here on my YouTube channel. And I just want to say a big massive thank you to all of you guys for hitting that subscribe button and for watching my videos. I can see it in my analytics. It's going up. We're onwards and upwards and we are very, very close to our 1,000 subscriber goal. And as many of you know, once we hit that 1,000 subscriber goal, I'm giving away three James Charles eyeshadow palettes. If you're watching this video and we're past 1,000 subscribers, then that giveaway has actually closed. But right here, right now, when this video is being released, we're not quite at 1,000 yet, but we are very, very close. If you have not yet and you want to enter that giveaway, then I will leave the link in the description box down below and you can go follow the prompts in that video as to how to enter the giveaway. Anyway, so that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey what's up you guys? <coughs> mm. Okay, okay. Calm down sis. I haven't done this for a while. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I haven't done this for a little while. I need... <laughs> How do I fix this? I'm, I'm human and I break out, but honestly, what demonic curse is this? Just like, and these two? Oh my goodness. Thank goodness for makeup, hey? You can also follow me on my social media. Now I've got glitter all over my freaking contacts. For a bit of light bronzer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline si Maybelline that I bought from Priceline on the half price sale. I bought them from the I bought them during the half price I bought them during the 50% off cut like half price sale from the half price cosmetics.